Addiction. 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 Is it that simple? What is your definition of addiction? Physical or emotional dependence. If you're attached to something. Something that kind of possesses you. Being obsessed with something. Yeah. It's like hell. Okay. Anything that you feel like you can't stop doing tomorrow. Can't let go of it. <laughs> Need it. <laughs> something that's out of your own control. Somebody that has taken a ritual and a habit to a degree that's doing them harm. Something you can't stop doing. Something that ruins your life. Can you guys tell us any addictions you have? Does anyone have addictions here? <laughs> Do you oh, want the yeah. whole list? <laughs> I've had addictions, like with smoking. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, I think that's a pretty common one. See, so you picked the perfect <laughs> people because we're we're just recovering right now. Coffee? Eating disorder. I've been smoking for probably almost 15 years now. Yeah, well, I pretty much, I'm, I'm not really a smoker, but I've had points where I've like, okay, Denial. gotta keep myself in check. <laughs> I've never been able to fully give it up. Red Bull, during exam time, I tend to take it quite a bit. Ecstasy. I like to shop. Crack cocaine. If I told you I watch television every day, would you say I'm addicted to television? You know, if I told you I uh, smoke pot every day or drink coffee every day, would you say I'm addicted to those things? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Denial, add that one. Because if you're, if you're like, oh no, I'm fine, I could stop anytime, then I think that's something to like check in with yourself because maybe you are addicted and you don't even know it. Alcohol. Caffeine. <laughs> Marijuana. Skateboarding. My drug of choice was crack cocaine. Are you or people close to you affected by the addiction you have? Yeah, after my exams I stopped taking and then I have like kind of withdrawal symptoms so I have trouble sleeping and you know, headaches and all that. I've lost a lot of friends to my addiction. A lot of problems to work out with our families because of it. My kids are probably impacted. Or they're losing their mommy because the mommy finds the addiction more important than them. I have bipolar and I don't know whether that was was brought on by the by the drugs. Say I only had like eight bucks left and I needed to eat, but I also wanted a pack of cigarettes. I would sacrifice eating to get a pack of cigarettes. Though. I really lost my soul to uh, to uh, the things that I thought I would never ever do. One of my problems is is that I feel bad about the smoking that I don't tell people about it. I hide it, and I know that if I talk to people more about it and got more of a support group going you know, support network with my friends that, uh, that I would probably have an easier time. Take advantage of the Narcotics Anonymous or AA Anonymous. Sometimes people like to say you need to hit rock bottom before you can start making changes, but sometimes rock bottom for people is six feet under. Addiction. 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 Is it that simple? future now that you're you're starting to get over your addiction is like how hard is it um, it's a lot of work it's a lot of like programs and a lot of spirituality and life changing and our actions and our thoughts it's gonna be lots of work but we're gonna do it